Let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hello. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring 10 pieces of trivia you should know about Alice in Wonderland. Two for the price of one. Kicking off our trivia list is a factoid about the 1951 Disney classic. Did you know that film combined the stories of the original novel and its sequel, Through the Looking Glass? Unfortunately, the dragon-like Jabberwock, which most people incorrectly call the Jabberwocky, was nowhere to be seen. Dear, I'm sure he came this way. Do you suppose he could be hiding? Since Disney figured the monster would scare the bejesus out of kids. The author. Charles Lutwidge Dodgson is not just one of the most British names we've ever heard. It's also the real name of Alice author Lewis Carroll. Dodgson was a mathematics lecturer and tutor at Christchurch University in Oxford, England, but he suffered from stammering, epilepsy, partial deafness, and ADHD. And now, my dear, as you were saying... It's a wonder he ever got this tale told, but Wonderland was his only success as a storyteller. Sly Reference Lewis Carroll's 1865 novel began with Alice wandering off from her boring sister. With her was her cat Dinah. Dinah, dear, you think I'm grown up, don't you? And the kitty's name was taken from the song I've Been Working on the Railroad. That was, of course, a slick reference to the semi-forced labor of blacks and Chinese at the time. So by taking a trip down the rabbit hole, Alice was like fighting for civil rights? Acid trip. Hey, guess what? Disney was definitely not immune to book snobs with their 1951 animated classic. As with most book-to-film adaptations, literary fans agonized over the many inaccuracies and omissions. In fact, Alice only became a hit in the 60s thanks to hippies and their love of mind-altering substances. From then on, the story was associated with drug culture, and it's no wonder really. There was a caterpillar that sits on a mushroom, smokes a pipe, claimed to have magic powers, and gave lessons like a freaking professor. <laughs> Who are you? Well, I, I, I hardly know, sir. I've changed so many times since this morning, you see. I do not see you. Pair of Downers Once Alice used the potion to get through the small doorway into Wonderland, she met the twins Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Even though they were kind of annoying, these guys seemed harmless at first. But dig a little deeper and you got their real meaning. They represented the twin evils, or if you prefer, the two sides of depression. Bummer. The Cheshire Cat and the Queen of Hearts our grinning cat friend was quite the oddball character, and we know that Lewis Carroll was all about the deeper meanings. Ever wonder what the Cheshire Cat's deal was? Turns out he was representing the shifting state of Alice's mind and sanity as he was constantly fading in and out. Open his head! The Queen of Hearts, on the other hand, was always demanding the removal of heads, or in this case, the end of her hallucinations. That's why she was so judgmental towards Alice and her behavior. She condemned her for expanding her mind, which the Queen thinks made her head too big. Missing Cards In Disney's animated classic, the Queen of Hearts henchmen were carefully animated and meticulously tracked to make sure each card was properly represented. However, all the non-heart face cards were left out, signifying that she was not playing with a full deck. Huh? What? Who? If you catch her drift. The Tea Party the Tea Party was another veiled substance abuse reference. The Mad Hatter and the March Hare kept changing places in an attempt to get clean of their alcoholism. Clean cup, clean cup, move down! But I haven't used my cup. Clean cup, clean cup, move down, move down, clean cup, clean cup, move down. But they quickly returned to their habits despite their efforts to evoke change. Try rehab, boys. Look at the time. The White Rabbit was one dapper dude, and he wouldn't be caught dead without his pocket watch. Of course, this represented something far more profound. The pocket watch symbolized the last sense of accuracy and objectivity in the world of Wonderland. Look at that! Two days slow, that's what it is. So when it was smashed apart, Alice's final link to reality was broken along with it, causing her to become fully lost in the fantasy, Moam Rats and all. 10-6. Rounding out our trivia list is the card that sticks out of the Mad Hatter's hat. It read 10-6. <laughs> uh, you were saying that you would like to think... Pardon me. 
and this inspired fans to mark October 6th as the silliest day of the year, Mad Hatter Day. But turns out the card's meaning was pretty simple. It was the hat's price tag, meaning it cost 10 shillings and 6 pence. <laughs> Enjoy our Alice in Wonderland trivia? Have fun facts of your own? Be sure to subscribe and visit us at watchmojo.com for more fun videos.